For the second time in the last 42 years, and only the eighth time since voting began, baseball writers failed to elect anyone to the Hall of Fame on Wednesday. Here's Jeff Idelson, president of the National Baseball Museum. Decisions. Brian, it's time to open up the envelope. For only the eighth time since voting began in 1936, Brian, the voting membership did not elect anyone to Cooperstown. Craig Biggio leading the pack with votes on 68% of ballots cast, just 39 votes short of election. Some say it sent a firm signal that baseball stars of the steroids era, era are being held accountable. Some feel it's a double standard that isn't fair to all candidates. And others, like many existing Hall of Famers, have expressed relief by the voting results. ESPN, re ESPN reported this morning that Hall of Famer Goose Gossage stated, if they let these guys in ever at any point, it's a big black eye for the Hall and for baseball. It's like telling our kids, you can't, you can cheat, you can do whatever you want, and it's not going to matter. Former Seattle Mariner Edgar Martinez received 204 votes, which was 35 0.9% approval by the baseball writers. A player needs 75% of the vote to be elected into the Hall of Fame. We'll be right back with our spotlight story right after this quick break.